Hello, welcome to another video. Today we are going to reapply thermal paste on this Lenovo IdeaPad S145. First thing we're going to need is the rubbing alcohol. Next, we need our thermal paste. I'm using an Insignia, aka the Best Buy brand. We have our paper towel. We got a couple cotton swabs right here. We have our screwdriver, specifically a PH1 screwdriver. This is the only screwdriver we are going to need today. And we have some prying tools here. All right, let's begin. Got to flip over the laptop. So for, to remove the bottom cover, you're looking at 10 screws. The first four screws, the ones right by the speakers, the first row that I'm removing right now, they are shorter screws than the other six. So screw number one. Screw number two, screw number three, screw number four, so now we are going to remove screws five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these last six screws, I'm just going to loosen them all up and I'm going to take them all out at the same time. You don't really have to do it in any specific order, you know, but uh, I figured, you know, it's probably easier this way since they're kind of in deep and I didn't want to smack the laptop too much. So there we go. The other six screws. So they are longer than the first four screws. Put these on the side. Now let's get to the tricky part using the plastic prying tools. So for this laptop, I've opened it, opened it up a few times already. If you guys saw my other videos, what I learned was around the back part close to the hinge is the easiest part to start opening it up. So this laptop is not too bad. It's a lot of plastic. It's pretty much all plastic, so it's not too hard to remove. So you definitely want to take your time and just gradually open it up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some new uh, plastic prying tools too since uh, my plastic prying tools are kind of beat up. So just kind of gradually go around. And then I just go here. Oh, by the way, so yeah, the Best Buy brand thermal paste, the Insignia one, I just found out that it has been discontinued. I did order some MX, the Arctic, uh, Arctic Silver brand. I forgot the exact name, but I did order some. The Best Buy brand was like a lot cheaper, but um, you know it gets the job done, and I didn't have to wait. So, but we are gonna get the Arctic Silver in the future. So here's the laptop. First thing we gotta do, of course, is disconnect the battery. So for this battery, for this Lenovo laptop, it was a little bit hard. So in my opinion, if you're struggling to remove this, disconnect this battery, you could just remove the screws off the battery and so that you can move the battery around, give you a little bit more wiggle room. I was lucky enough with the plastic prying tool, I was able to disconnect it, but it is not as easy as it looks. Of course, I was trying to be careful not to damage the connector and everything went well, but uh, I think that if you are struggling disconnecting this battery, you can uh, take out the screws of the battery and you can lift out the battery and it might be easier for you because it'll give you more wiggle room. Just something I noticed. So the next thing we gotta do is remove the heatsink. So looks like it is numbered. So screw number one, and then we got screw number two, screw number three right here. I think the reason why this is numbered is so that when we reapply thermal paste and you start screwing it in, it'll spread it out evenly. Because I noticed a diagonal pattern. So let me give you guys a close up of the heatsink. So number one on the upper right corner, number two on the lower left, number three on the upper left, and number four was on the lower right. So let's clean out some of this thermal paste. So a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm sure there are a lot of techniques out there for uh, removing and applying thermal paste. So I just try to use a little bit if I can and then to loosen it up. 
And the goal of this uh, thermal paste application is I'm hoping to get at least one degree, you know, lower or something. I'm not expecting too much, but I'm hoping to see at least a little bit of result, you know. I, I am hoping that the CPU is going to be a little bit cooler. I did notice that the small rectangle beside the CPU, um, I'm assuming that's a GPU, the UHD 620, is I'm assuming what that is. Uh, the reason why is it's probably the integrated graphics, I guess. But I will put up put up some screenshots toward the end of the video before and after using core temp and just a little bit of the stats of the laptop in terms of like RAM, GPU, just in case somebody was wondering. I know in a previous video, someone was asking about the shared GPU. So the thing with this Lenovo S145 is there is no sh dedicated, there's no dedicated GPU memory on this laptop. It's only shared. So yeah, I'll show you guys later. So now onto the CPU, more thermal paste removal here. So yeah, this is a really tiny um, CPU. I didn't really know what to expect, uh, you know, because I'm not really a pro, pro. You know, this is more like practice to me for thermal paste removal and application. So hopefully I'll get it right and I'll be able to apply the correct amount of thermal paste. Nice and shiny. So that's what the CPU looks like on this laptop. And the UHD 620, like I'm assuming. Or the uh, small rectangle without the thermal paste. So let's apply some thermal paste on the CPU. Oh yeah, so the CPU is an i7, 8th generation I believe. So that looks like it's a good amount of thermal paste. Time to reapply the heatsink. So yeah, it was a lot easier disconnecting the heatsink than I thought. There were no screws on the other end of it by the fan. It was just the four screws here right on the CPU. So pretty interesting. So I'm going to tighten up number one a little bit, number two, number three, and number four, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to tighten a little bit more for one, two, three, and four. I'm not trying to make it super tight. So once that's done, we just have to reconnect our battery. So I just kind of put it in a little bit. So reconnecting the battery was so much easier than disconnecting it. All right. Everything went well. Now we put back the bottom cover. I'm gonna close it up a little bit. Go around a couple times. Now to put back the 10 screws. All right, so that's screw number six. Now, for after this one, we have the four shorter screws. Two, so this is number four, number three, number two, and number one. So yeah, like I said, uh, you don't need to do it in any specific order. So this is a pretty uh, good laptop to work on. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Just a little bit. All right, looking good. This is a pretty good laptop. This is one of my bigger screen laptops, a 15.6 inch, I believe. So let's boot it up. So everything went well with the boot up. And then I will show you guys the before and after screenshots, which is right here. So you're gonna notice core zero, one, and two and three, uh, it was uh, two degrees lower for core zero and core one, and then one degree lower for core two and core three. What's interesting is the max temperature. You notice that the max temperature after, it was pretty high compared to before. 
although the minimum temperature is all 40 degrees, which is lower than the minimum from before. And I don't know if I had some background programs open because if you look at the load, there was some stuff going on after. Maybe I forgot to close out some stuff and there was some stuff going on. But nevertheless, um, I'm glad that we did get at least one or two degrees off from the previous uh, thermal paste. So in my opinion, it worked. Um, you know, so this is an i7 and memory wise, it does have 20 gigabytes. It only has one RAM slot. So 16 gigabyte stick plus a four gigabyte integrated on the motherboard. And here's a GPU. I know someone was asking about the shared GPU memory, which is 9.9 .9 gigabytes. No dedicated GPU memory on this laptop. So that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.